I just heard a <laughs> sound like something cracking. Hopefully it wasn't the ice. You guys are pushing this area just now. Um, do we know that this ice is going to be thick enough? Just feel a little bit anxious as we approach this one. The, um, the thickness meter is, is showing us a two meter thick ice. I'll give you go. I'll be honest, I'm very, very nervous because what happened last year um, with the car going down. This is a training ground for our big objective, which is to be the first people to drive an electric car to the South Pole in Antarctica. Nobody has driven this way back, no. And with an electric car. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? There's certain little things that happen where you think, have I failed? No, connection has died. It's coming. I know. So relax, stop. No, because I want to do it myself. But you can't do it yourself. I can do it myself. Everything in life that we have, at some point, failed. Yeah, it looks like I'm stuck. It's so, so destroying. Because the vision of what I had is different to what we're doing today. We plugged it into charge and then immediately it died. Oh, for God's sake, what the hell is going on? If we don't make it through there, we are stuck on an island or something, and there's no way out. Just deal with it, bounce back, and you do something far better. Spades. We're trying everything to heat up the electronics of the car. And I want the area and me to show everybody here that it can do it. We have a 24 hour working day and that's how we operate. There is absolutely no reason why we can't go into Antarctica and smash it. We are going to drive it there and back. Why is it wheel like that? That's not good. Car broken. 